Hey guys, Ben here with Ben Ventures. Thanks for tuning in to another video. And I'm off to another adventure. And today's adventure, I'm planning on hiking over to a place called Half Moon Beach, which is about a 10 and a half kilometer hike in the Golden Ears Park. And I'm gonna cook up some delicious lunch. I got some meatball subs on the go. So it should be a whole whack of fun. And uh, if you like this video and all my other stuff, make sure to hit that like and subscribe button. Appreciate it guys, and let's get into it. It is such a beautiful day today. I think it's about 28 degrees or so Celsius. I'll give that to you guys in Fahrenheit. And it should be just an awesome day. I think it's probably gonna take me about two and a half hours or so to get to the spot. And uh, once I get there, I'll just set up uh, my hammock that I brought along with me. I just wanna kinda test it out again. And uh, just chill right along the creek. It's called Gold Creek. And the hike is a very easy one. You hike along the Gold Creek, uh, along the creek the whole way. And uh, yeah, it's pretty, pretty easy. Uh, I did a video where I biked along the trail for a while and I bailed a couple times because <laughs> I'm not the best, uh, I guess, off-road biker. But uh, yeah, it's a, a great trail. And I'll put all the information in the description for you guys to check out. All right, so I have made it to the trail and I'm on my way. So there's a lot of nice places to stop along the way, just kind of along the creek area. So maybe I'll even take a dip today, depending on how hot it is. But uh, yeah, should be a lot of fun. It's a perfect day for it. So on this trip, I definitely brought a long bear spray. There's just tons of bears around right now. And I don't want to come across a mom with her cubs. So it's within reaching distance for me. I've also got some bear bangers as well. But uh, hopefully we don't have any issues with that along the way. Yeah, what a beautiful day. It's perfect for this kind of hike. So the first part of this trail is relatively easy. It kind of upslopes for the first little bit and then it flattens out at the top. But it's quite wide. There's no narrow bits at all really. Uh, when you get closer to Half Moon Beach, it's a little bit more tricky to kind of stay on the trail. So I'm thinking maybe they recently have updated the markers for the trail because last time I was here on a hike, it was kind of difficult to try and find it. So. I'm hoping they updated them. But it's a great trail. And uh, at the end, where Half Moon Beach is, there's tons of little camping spots. They don't have like camping platforms. You just kind of set your tent up wherever. But it's a pretty prime spot if you have um, a hammock tent because there's tons of locations where you can set it up. But let's keep going. So before I get further into the video, I just kind of want to talk about a company I've been working with for some time now and I wear their products. It's called Northbound Gear. I'll put their link in the description. And I've been wearing their pants for quite some time and they really sort of keep up to my adventuring. They're very tough, very durable and uh, very waterproof. I've been very happy with their product. So yeah, if you got a second, and you're interested in some decent gear, clothing-wise, um, go check them out. Again, it's Northbound Gear. 
and you can use the code Ben Ventures. I'll just put the code there for you. Ben Ventures, and uh, it'll get yourself 15% discount on their products. So it's worth it, trust me. I swear by their clothing. It's built for me, that's for sure. So this park is littered with trails. There's trails everywhere. And right now I'm what's on what's called the East Canyon Trail. And it's probably the easiest. There's another trail that you can go, which is the West Canyon Trail. And basically goes way up um, through Golden Ears to a cabin. So there's a cabin at the end of it that you can actually hike to. Uh, I've done that trail when I was much younger. Uh, and for that trail, you definitely got to make sure to bring enough water source with you because yeah, there's not a lot of water sources to grab from on the way. So it's best to bring you know, a camel back with a whole bunch of water and get your electrolytes in there. But this trail, it's got lots of water sources. Like I said, it runs along a creek, so you just bring your life straw or whatever you have. I got my life straw today. This is my water bladder, just to filter out the water just in case. Nobody wants to get jarty out here. Yeah, there's tons of drinking water along the way here on this trail. Seems to be an old gate here. I don't remember seeing this last time, but uh, I guess they closed this portion of the trail off at a certain hour, I would imagine. Hmm. All right, moving on. Yeah, so along this trail as well, there's two waterfalls. One of them's harder to get to. So there's a lower falls and an upper falls. When I was younger, I did uh, some cliff jumping off one of those falls. Not the brightest of ideas, but. I can't say how nice it is to have tree coverage for 90% of the trail. It's so nice and cool in here. But I always bring a lot of water with me and I also bring with me those little Mio um, squirt things that uh, sweeten your water. They also have electrolytes in them. And uh, yeah, they have different flavors like grape and orange and uh, lime. And it works very, very well for me. And it makes your water taste good. So there's tons of camping along the whole creek area. You can just throw up your tent anywhere pretty much. But if you cross the creek, there's a lot of really sweet spots. And you can do that at Half Moon Beach. There's also a camp spot called Viewpoint. And that's got seven or eight camp spots, I believe. And they're both gorgeous. At first I thought that was bear scat because I saw it earlier along the trail, but it's horse, horse poop. I guess this trail is frequented by horse riders, which is pretty cool. That'd be a pretty neat experience, actually. So this is the fork in the road that takes you either to continue on the East Canyon Trail or go along the West Canyon Trail. 
Let's go check out that bridge over there and uh, see what the view is from on that bridge. The uh, backpack I'm using on this trek is Osprey, the Osprey Ether 65 liter, and I purchased it not too long ago. It's been working quite well for me. I guess you can't really escape the shoulder soreness when you have a really heavy pack. You know, I've used lots of packs like MEC's brand, McKinley, and others, and if you've got a 40-50 pound weight on your back I guess you can't escape the soreness in the shoulders this pack is I find better in that sense it's still sore for sure and I've had to make some adjustments on the height for this neck strap here but other than that it's been pretty dang good for me it fits my body quite well I'll put the info for you guys to check out in the description All right, so we've reached another fork in the road here. So Viewpoint Beach is that way, and Half Moon Beach is that way. So I think I'm gonna walk over to Viewpoint Beach just to show you guys what that looks like. Uh, it's very close off the beaten path, so let's go check it out, and then we'll continue on towards Half Moon Beach. Camp spots kind of all along the way here. Right beside Gold Creek. Look how clear that water is. Oh. Absolutely beautiful and this is a really good spot actually I've never been here before but there's some great swimming just in this little area it's deep enough to dive right in so good spot I'll be coming here in the future back on the trail 5.2 kilometers left to go to get to Half Moon Beach that spot is quite sweet actually at viewpoint and it's much closer than Half Moon Beach so I foresee future plans of me camping out there and you can just camp right on the beach it looks like it's quite rocky but you got an air mattress and stuff you're fine it's not a problem let's keep going so I'm filming this video today on my Samsung Galaxy S23 Ultra so if you ever uh, question which phone to go with I'm very, very happy with this phone. Uh, the video quality is quite good, uh, but I really like the zoom function of it. It zooms out so far. Uh, I'll just give you an example here of something you can check out. So that's the trail ahead of me there. And just look how far it zooms. So it's a little pixelated but it really is good for far shots. And uh, yeah, the battery has been pretty good on it. Whereas some of my previous Samsungs, the battery didn't last long at all. This one's not too bad. So I strongly suggest it. It's a good phone.
Well, I uh, kind of went off the grid too many times here and I lost a bit of time today. So I think what I'm going to do is set up shop at this uh, nice little spot here along the creek and just have some lunch and then head back. But uh, this is a pretty sweet spot here too. I'm going to check it out. Nice. I was hoping to uh, set up my hammock somewhere close by, but I don't see a lot of good spots. There's some trees over there, so I could try those out, I guess. But uh, I may not be able to set it up and test it out again, which is fine. I've got lots of places to sit down and chill, so it's not an issue. But I'm going to get lunch sorted here because I am hungry. Can't tell me that doesn't look good. Let's try this out. Oh, that's good. I'm gonna mount down on this and enjoy the peace and quiet. This water is absolutely crystal clear, it's so beautiful and I kind of regret not bringing a swimming suit because I could have definitely gone for a dip, there's some deeper parts here but uh, yeah look how clear it is, it's amazing. something ginormous making a crashing sound right beside me so I've just been making a bit of noise making sure it's not a bear so hey hopefully it's not a bear Time for me to head out of this beautiful spot and head on home. Again, the name of this park is Golden Ears and there's tons of different trails around the area. A lot of mosquitoes though too. But uh, I wanted to thank all you guys for supporting my channel and watching my videos. 
And as per always, if you do have a second, make sure to hit that like and subscribe button, guys. I'd really appreciate it. And I will see you on the next video. Like a bird on a tree I'm just sitting here I got time It's clear to see From up here The world seems small We can sit together It's so beautiful You and me Meant to be